my daughter was worthless. My daughter Erin was 21 years old. She was full of life. Uh, she was my world. She was my best friend. Uh, she cared about seniors, uh, people that were unfortunate in life, animals. Uh, she was everything to me and to her friends and to her grand grandfather, her aunties, uncles. Erin. Um, October 2011, uh, started complaining about headaches and she started losing a little bit of her hair. And the doctors at a clinic in Ladner uh, told her she had alopecia and wanted to inject her skull with cortisone. And she said, no, it, it's, it's not. And they said, well, you are uh, probably full of stress, and she said, I'm 21. I'm, it's not that, I have excruciating headaches. They sent her away, a week later she went back and complained about headaches, and they said to her, well, it's sinus inf infection, it's a flu. They gave her antibiotics for this, sent her on her way. Two weeks later, she went back complaining. They said, oh my God, you're, you're a little hypochondriac. She went to a Delta Hospital emergency. They said it was sinus and flu. They sent her home. We got into December and it, she was just, her head was exploding. Again, once again, they turned her away. January 17th, I got a phone call, 2012, at work, from my daughter crying, saying, please come to emergency. I went there, they had her in a hallway. A nurse was telling her basically, be quiet, we've heard, we've heard from you all day. They released her. Her boyfriend and myself carried her basically out of the hospital on the morning of the 18th. On the morning of the 19th, she was brain dead in her bedroom. <laughs> They rushed her back to Delta Hospital where they never once gave her a CAT scan. They did when she was brain dead. They took her to Royal Columbian. They kept her on life support till January the 20th, 2012, where I then had them take her off life, life support and said goodbye to my best friend. When I found Erin passed out in her bedroom and she was taken back to Delta Hospital, they gave her a CAT scan. She had a benign tumor that had erupted in her brain. This was overlooked. I got a phone call from Fraser Health, the quality patient control officer, asking me to come in to sign papers saying that Erin had good treatment at Delta Hospital and was treated properly and accordingly to the medical system, and I hung up on her. When Erin passed away, I reached out to a few lawyers, not wanting any compensation whatsoever financially. I wanted the doctors responsible to hang up their licenses. I was told my daughter was worth nothing. I feel very, extremely strongly something has got to be done. Learn more and donate to support the cause at intheirname.ca.